trade in that case of the Mondays and go for f me in today's sweet and scary round of trivia with your host, Swagman! That's right, everybody, me, Swagman, I am here today, and wow, uh, it is so good to see you all. For those of you who were listening through that, that little soundscape that we had going there, that thing was creepy. I I'm, I was listening, and I'm like, oh, this is a, I, I am glad I have all the lights on right now, and even still, I am a little freaked out. But uh, shout out to Genghis Smith, who pointed out that this whole setup is only almost as scary as the NFC North. Can we just say, well, I think they started, all of the NFC North has started like 17 and 5. And I think there's two of those losses, which is because they played each other. And like somebody had to lose. So really, that could be like 15 and 3. I mean, wow. Just wow. Um... It's so great to have you all here today. It's, I mean, it's that time of year, right? We've got two Monday Night Football games. We've got postseason baseball, Yankees and Dodgers. It, and, and, uh, and, of course, it is uh, the, the, the scary times. It is, it is time of haunting and horror and candy, which I'll let you figure out which one is my favorite. I got to give a shout-out to Lightning Trust who was the first in the chat today, they must be typing at lightning speed because, like, the app popped up for me, and it's like, hey, we're all going, and already their chat was there. So I I don't know how they do it. Uh, well done. Well done. Well done. Um, well, folks, in case you didn't realize, it's time for a week of things that go bump in the night. night. You chills and also give you a sugar rush ha <laughs> it's a week of horrors haunts and candy at daily trivia live the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone unwrap the morsels of knowledge in your brain as you play for the grand prize that right there is one thousand dollars and when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about horrors haunts and candy well you'll win your share of it in this game, you'll earn one bonus SP for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you win the game, they're automatically added to your prize. I call that one of the perks. Otherwise, you'll have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them. That's right, if you don't win the game, you must click claim. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SP or with a free rejoin. Just click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. It's that easy, folks. It's that easy. Now, this week is a second chance week, which means you're getting three free rejoins for each game you play, credited before the following game begins. That's right. So before you play tomorrow, you'll have three more free rejoins. Yeah, <laughs> we're cool like that. Now, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who play and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are Thursday's winners. Congratulations to all of those winners. You did it. You've got that 100 SB in your account. And everyone else, keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. Now, uh, I'm dying to begin. So let's get this game started. We've got over 17,000 people here for question number one. What is the name of Dr. Jekyll's monstrous alter ego? Is it Pinhead, Mr. Hyde, or the Babadook? What is the name of Dr. Henry Jekyll's monstrous alter ego? Dr. Jekyll, looking to isolate and eliminate the hidden evils within him, concocts a potion in his laboratory that has the opposite effect, letting that evil loose in the form of Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right and moving on. Seems like maybe you saw a, uh, a tweet that went out or something, a nice little bit of trivia uh, from the, the accounts that are out there. Um, well done. Well done. Let's keep it moving, shall we? into question number two, which has a bonus SB attached, as does every question from here on out. Here we go, Q2. What are standard Reese's cups filled with? Is it pineapple, peppermint bark, or peanut butter? 
What are standard Reese's cups filled with? One of my favorite candies of all time. They can get fancy around Halloween, trotting out their pumpkin-shaped Reese's cups. Although the filling stays the same, because you don't want to mess with that sweet peanut butter. Peanut butter is the answer. Almost 100% of you got that one right. We only lost 53 of you on that question. Well done. Let's keep it moving into Q3 with a bonus SB. Here we go. Q3. In which movie does Bill Murray get slimed by a ghost? Ghostbusters, quick change, or larger than life? In which movie does Bill Murray get slimed by a ghost? All ghosts in this world leave an ectoplasm residue, but Slimer is the one who's running through Bill Murray in a hotel after the Ghostbusters are called to get rid of him. Ghostbusters is the answer. 99.7% of you getting that one right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, isn't that another thing? A ghost passes through you and you sneeze? I don't know. If that's a thing, a ghost just passed through me because I sneeze. 52 of you got it wrong. Wow, we're doing really good on this one so far. Let's keep it moving. Q4 worth a bonus, SB, if you get it right. Here we go, Q4. Sleepy Hollow has a legend about a horseman who's missing which body part? Arm, leg, or head? Sleepy Hollow has a legend about a horseman who's missing which body part? And I'm not talking about a centaur, okay? That's not what I mean by horseman. Some version of this legend has been around since medieval Europe, but it found its home in New York's Sleepy Hollow, where the Headless Horseman story continues to be told. Headless! Doesn't have a head! 98.1% of you getting that one right. Well done, you're moving on. Only lost 323 of you. Maybe you saw the, uh, the Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow, where Christopher Walken was the Headless, ho the headless Horseman. I, I've got a horse, but no head. That was uh, spot on Christopher Walken, and basically basically what you would have seen in the movie if you haven't. So there you go. You've seen it now. Here's Q5, almost halfway through the quiz. This question's worth a bonus SP if you get it right. Here we go. Which of these candies is spicy? Hot tamales, Skittles, or bottle caps? Which of those candies is spicy? And follow-up question, why? Why? I mean, straight-up sweet candies are great. They're basically everything I love about candy. But sometimes you want a spicy kick of cinnamon added in, which makes a box of hot tamales the perfect choice. Cinnamon is why they're spicy, but you knew that. 99.5% of you getting that one right. 16,805 of you still in it. Y'all are crushing this game. Also, have you ever had you ever fireball candies? They actually used to make that near where I went to church. They made those, and I remember getting them and, like, trying, and then I'd be like, ha, ha, I can do it, I can do it, and then I couldn't do it. It's too much. We're on to Q6 now. It's worth a bonus SP if you get it right. Here we go. Q6. In Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, what is the single word repeated by The Raven? YOLO, Sigma, or Nevermore? In Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, what is the single word repeated by The Raven? I saw some people shouting out The Ravens in the chat. They're playing in a few minutes. The narrator of this poem is dealing with grief that is driving them to madness, and one of the symbols of their descent is a raven who repeats the word, nevermore. Nevermore is the answer. So many of you getting that one right and moving on. I do I do wonder about everyone who picked YOLO. The Edgar Allan Poe, I mean, I guess he could have invented YOLO, but I'm going to tell you, he didn't. But I, I mean, like, I'd kind of pay to see that. Maybe we, maybe we... Maybe we revamp this story. YOLO! All right, we're on to Q7. Worth a bonus SB. Here we go. Q7. Where was the first gummy candy produced? The United States, Germany, or Switzerland? Where was the first gummy candy produced? Where was it? Considering how popular they are all around the world, gummy candy is relatively young. The first gummy candy's name, translated to Little Gum Bear, and was produced in 1920s Germany. Germany is the answer. Oh, this was a tough one. No, 7,725 of you got that one right, but that's only 47% of you. We had like high 90 percentiles this whole time. 
So use that free rejoin. Yes, 7,800 people back in already. Let's get to 7,900 people. There it is. Boom. Keep it going, folks. You're getting three free rejoins for playing this game. If you've got a rejoin to use, use it now. You've only got three questions left. Stay in it to win it. All right. Over 7,900 people back in the game. That's what I love to see. Let's move it on to Q8 worth of bonus SB. We've learned some history, right? That's the win from that. All right, here we go. Q8. Which ghost is summoned by saying their name into a mirror three or more times? Bloody Mary, the hook, or the ghost of Christmas past? Which of those ghosts is summoned by saying their name into a mirror three or more times? The nickname given to an English queen whose reign only lasted five years came from her prosecution of Protestants. Today, Bloody Mary's reign of terror is limited to scaring slumber parties. Bloody Mary is the answer. All right, we jumped back up to 89% of you, 13,765 people moving on. A lot of you went with the hook. A number of you went with the ghost of Christmas past. I don't know of many people who choose into the ghost of Christmas past. I mean, that's fun, but like that's them trying to teach you a lesson. And so, I mean, that would be very self-aware of like, man, you know what I really need right now? The ghost of Christmas past. Can you come straighten me out, dude? Uh, we're on to question nine now. Two questions left. This one's worth a bonus SP if you get it right. Here we go. Q9. What country is home to the legend of the Loch Ness Monster? Is it Ireland, Wales, or Scotland? What country is home to the legend of the Loch Ness Monster? Sure, we don't have any actual proof that she exists, but do we really want to live in a world where Nessie doesn't roam the waters of Scotland? I don't think we do. But I do think that 13,466 of you knew that answer. You've made it this far and are ready for our final question. Well done, everybody. Oh, this week, all horrors, haunts, and candy all week long. And free rejoins all week long as well. So be sure to come back tomorrow for another spooky game. Yeah, that's right. Look at that spookiness. Look at the spookiness. It's a whole week of horrors and haunts and candy. Oh. Quick reminder also, there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, the quick hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both will get you SB towards your daily goal. But hey, before we get to question 10, you've got to try Mother's Frosted Cookies. The whimsical creature shapes take you on a mythical adventure with every delicious bite. Add Mother's Frosted Cookies to your list in Magic Receipts, then buy then a product in store at Walmart and get 100 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two or more, and let's face it, we're getting more. Buy two or more on the same receipt and get 300 SB. Now, you have to be a U.S. player to get this deal, but check it out after the game. Look at those. You could have a magical unicorn frosted cookie and a dragon and a mermaid. I mean, I feel like it sells itself, but here I am trying to convince you. Go do that, please. They're delicious. Okay, we're going to focus it back in. It's question 10. We've got 13,894 of you vying for a piece of the grand prize. 18,000 plus people going for that bonus SB. Going to claim all the bonus SB they've earned today. All right, here we go. Question number 10. In which Jordan Peele movie does the hero get sent to the sunken place? Get Out, Nope, or Us? In which Jordan Peele movie does the hero get sent to the sunken place? Oof. Now, for as deep and socially aware as this Oscar-winning movie is, Jordan Peele was inspired to make his first hit by an Eddie Murphy routine where a ghost saying, Get out! Immediately gets him to leave. Get out is the answer. 9,896 of you knew that answer. And you are splitting our grand prize. Well done, everybody. Congrats to all the winners out there. Let's take a look at that winner circle. Shall we? Greeny is a bean. It is also, Greeny is also a winner. Elva Janey is a winner. Congratulations to Nikki Browland. 
who is a winner. Ant-Man Vic, you won. Nicole Kristen 97, you did it. Welcome. Welcome to the winner's circle. Also, Leon Wallace 2, and so, so many more of you. You did it. You got those 11 SB plus all those bonus SB you earned along the way. And now that you've got all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them, right? Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job today, everybody. We're going to see you back here tomorrow for more sweet, ghoulish trivia. <laughs> Thanks for playing Daily Trivia Live. We'll see you then.